Hey guys, welcome to my channel. All right, today I'm gonna to be doing a singles read. It's gonna be directed towards singles, but there may be something else that uh, resonates with you guys, okay? Uh, if you're 18 or under, please find your way out. I will be pulling some sexy cards later on. Uh, don't mind me today, I'm a little bit uh, tired, but I felt like a message needed to go out to you guys. So I'm here for you. Um, if you would like to subscribe, hit the notification bell. I put up a weekly read, uh, Venmo, my Venmo link, all my links are going to be in the description box below. Okay. Uh, take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. All right. Let's see what goes on with my singles. Let's see, let's see. All right, to start off, before I even started uh, your read, just uh, having your intention in mind, I felt like somebody's needing you to tell them how you feel for them. All right. Um, maybe you haven't made yourself very clear to them, or maybe this is them. Maybe they haven't made themselves clear to you. Take it however it resonates. But that's the message that uh, I, I got ahead of time before pulling your cards, that someone's wanting to know your feelings. Okay, so, uh, singles, single singles. All right, so you've had some drama in the past, all right, with a, a person or multiple people, and uh, you're, you're picking up your emotions and you're rowing away to calmer, calmer grounds there. All right, so that's good. So no more chaos going on. You're finally picking up and you're moving forward. I see celebrations coming in for you. Yeah, going out, having a good time with people. But uh, yeah, it, Spirit's telling you, you have to uh, pick up your emotions and move forward. All right, don't stay, don't stay stagnant. Let's see. Yeah, that car just doesn't want to go away. See, sorry. Oh, I don't want to close it. <laughs> All right. I tried to do it horizontal, but I wasn't digging it uh, the first uh, the first go. So I put it back upright until I get get the hang of it. Uh, the, I'm talking about the camera camera angle. All right. So well, you may have uh, competitors coming for you. You may have multiple people trying to fight for your attention here. Uh, you're not, you're trying not to be up in your head, all right, after releasing some, some of your uh, emotions in the past, maybe being stuck in your head, you're no longer wanting to do that. So coming up in reverse, which is uh, being a little bit more open-minded to things coming towards you. So there may be a Knight of Pentacles coming in for you, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. All right, very slow moving person. Uh, this person, you may already know this person. This may be a friend that's sweet on you, that's just uh, guarded. <laughs> They're not sure if they should come in and uh, tell you their intentions that they have with you. All right. Okay. I feel like in the past you you weren't getting what you wanted. You weren't getting clarity from a situation possibly. All right. There was um a death to a connection recently with you. All right. Maybe with the Scorpio or a um, Libra, Aquarius. So, um, so where there was a death, I see it's not gonna be any longer. The ending of that relationship. One second. 
may need to pull more cards tonight. This is a little confusing. So I feel in the past, all right, maybe this friend of yours, all right, maybe this friend of yours felt like they, they had to um, defend you or compete for your attention. And uh, they didn't have much clarity on how you felt for them. So going back to the beginning of the read, basically this person's unclear about how you feel for them. You may stop uh, talking to them for a period of time. Um, and now there's going to be a rebirth of the connection. All right. um, I feel like right now you aren't waiting for your ships to come in uh, with this person. I feel like um, maybe maybe you're not drawn to this person here. No, I think, you know what? I think that card is more of this person not feeling like their ships are going to come in with you. Maybe they feel that they, they still have to battle other people for your attention. Mm, okay. A little choppy tonight because my energy is my energy is low so sorry if it takes me a little bit longer uh to get the message but it'll come out so this person does look at you as a lover all right you may be dealing with a um oh, why can't i think tonight a gemini all right uh this person is very um charismatic they're a very outgoing person. They may like the limelight, <laughs> but they're willing to allow you to have some of that uh, limelight also. So like they like seeing you shine. Right? They're not afraid that your light will take away from their light uh, with others. So the person does want to work uh, with this connection. They're trying to figure out how to come in towards you. They're very much, okay, so yeah, they're coming, they're wanting to come in and work on the connection, figure out what it's going to take to, uh, you know, for you to uh, take them. <laughs> okay, I just got a notification. <laughs> All right, so this person may want to work on having sex with you. Ooh, that's the notification I just... <laughs> All right, so taking the friendship to the next level. Hmm, okay. So I don't think you've been intimate with this person yet, but they're wanting to uh, for sex to follow your relationship. <laughs> they're up in their head. Right now, they may be a little detached. Maybe, um, maybe haven't spoken to them, to them in a while, due to them uh, trying to get clarity of the situation of where where this connection is going. Yeah, they're they're not very clear. Uh, they know they want to do it with you. They know that uh, you have a friendship with them. They also know that the friendship probably came to an ending previously. Um, they do have passion for you, and they're sitting. They're sitting in their emotions, waiting to come in, all right? Waiting to come in to celebrate with you here, all right? Hmm. Okay. So let's see what else. Yeah, I think this person has really been bound in their head. This It's coming off as a, uh, I know I said Gemini. It could be a Gemini still, all right, because there is a lot of air in this read so far, but I'm also getting a lot of uh, water energy. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure why I'm getting water off of a swords card, but uh, I 
feel like cancer is coming up. I'm getting cancer a lot. This person makes themselves bound in their head. They overthink every little bit of what they do. And uh, they're scared. They're scared to come forward. I feel like they're, they're trying to hide their thoughts and emotions for you. And they're scared to approach you. But they're wanting to. <laughs> I don't know why they're so fearful yet. But we'll find out, won't we? Alright. In two minds about something here. In two minds about you. Uh, they may feel that you are selfish. Or coming out of... Um, Coming out of being greedy. Maybe in the past this person thought you were like high maintenance. But they had it wrong about you. Alright. So their thoughts of you are changing. The way that they look at you is changing. They're looking at you in more of a... Not as, you know, as a friend, yes, but more of a um, sexual partner. Like a sexual connection. But I don't think that's it. I don't think it's just like a, a lustful connection. So... A lot of reversals here. So this person's off in the distance. They're they're thinking about the connection. They're up in their head. They may not know how to come in with an apology for you. I'm not seeing conflict here. I'm not sure if this person did something in the past, but they're not sh sure of how. To come in with that apology because it's upside down. The five of pentacles. So still possibly holding back. Being distant from you. Right. Yeah, they're not wanting a completion with you. They're not wanting an ending. All right, they're wanting to grow this connection. And there you are again. They see that you're rowing away. Yeah. Their time is dwindling, right? Their time, sorry, notification. Their time is dwindling away from catching you. If they don't move quick enough towards you, you're done. You're out. You're on a new adventure. Not not that you're up in your head about them because I don't I don't know if you know or are aware that this person has uh, as much feelings for you as they do. So you just may be looking in a different direction at someone else. Yeah, you're looking in a different direction towards other options. Uh, you know, things that will fulfill you. Now, this could be creativity. It doesn't always have to be people, but it could also be people. You may have a lot of people looking at you and trying to get to you. But also uh, job opportunities, creative outlets coming in. That's what you're rowing to. But this person... Uh, feels that you're rowing away from them. They're feeling the distance between you guys. Yeah, they're watching you and they're seeing the value. They're seeing value in you. Wanting to uh, have a stable, stable connection with you. For you guys uh, not to be up in your head. For them not to be up in their head. This person may have been greedy with their time. It could be them and not you. Person held back, maybe. Since, you know, they never told you how they felt. How they felt for you. I feel like they were work they were sweet on you and they were working to the con towards the connection, but you might have seen them as greedy or withholding or not really interested in you. So they were unable to bring clarity to you in the past. 
they do see emotional fulfillment here. You both feeding into the connection. All right. So, what does this person look like? Oh, that one flew out. <laughs> this person's waiting for you to bring them an offer. Well, well, well. Uh, they're going to be waiting a long time, right? Because you, oh, wait, you know what? Hmm. Okay. Well, that just changed. So you may want this person. And you may bring them an offer. They're hoping that you come towards them. Hmm. They may be a little bit in their ego. They may need to humble themselves. Um. Hmm. All right. So I would say if you are the female, all right, energy goes either way but if you are a female i wouldn't go chasing this person all right because they're sitting back very comfortably just waiting for you to come to them um, not really digging it not digging it if it's a man man up uh, come forward and uh, give that option give that uh, give that offer here instead of sitting back waiting waiting on it so the person may be a little bit ego, maybe in their ego. Uh, maybe they don't like to uh, go after people, chase people. Okay. This person simply may want you to take their offer. Because I did put it under their, their line here. So they, they just probably want you to take their offer when they come in. For you so hmm. so four I'm getting the number four so four may be uh, may stand out to you maybe the fourth of January four weeks something's going to be happening then and possibly uh, them taking a leap of faith towards you all right, wanted to come in and have uh, a good time with you. Maybe re-spark, yeah, re-spark the connection. Mm -hmm. You're unsure if the connection can grow though with this person. You're kind of upside down whether or not that you could actually really have a stable foundation or growth in the connection. So, uh, but, oh, oh, I see a little passion. You do have passion for this person. You do. Yeah, but you're guarded. You, you may be, uh, maybe your friends or family are telling you not to go for this person. Or um, guard, your, guard your heart. Maybe you're emotional. Or maybe you're very fiery. And you're, you know, you... Put your energy all over the place so you're needing to stabilize yourself yeah. well, person well the emperor keeps coming out all day today all day today so that makes me feel like this person is serious they're coming in um a bit differently than the past it seems like they're coming in uh, knowing what they want and going after it and this person could uh, be well well known or well liked, authority figure, or could be a business owner, or just a person that. Um, hmm. I just got something and I lost it. I was gonna say superintendent or. Um, hmm. I don't know just had it and I got I lost it like a construction like a person like head of head of uh, construction basically people have to listen to this person when they say something so um, yeah authority authority figure so let's see they have facial hair it's a male. 
beard. Beard, yeah. It's weird. Dark hair, maybe, maybe like brown hair. I saw dark hair first. All right, so let's do, um, hmm. Sexy time. Let's do sexy time with these these new cards that I just got. Power of sexual magic. So this emperor, tell us a little bit more about this emperor coming in for the singles. All right. So if you don't like uh, nudity or you know dirty talk, just exit the room, okay? So well, well, well. All right. So this emperor, I. You know, I don't feel this is a new person. <laughs> this is either an old connection or a friendship. Uh, the beginning of the read, I felt like it was a friendship. Um, <clears throat> and I still do feel that it is a friendship that just didn't um, go for go to that intimacy. But this emperor wanted it to. But uh, there might have been some swords in the connection. Maybe you wanted this person and they they uh, couldn't give you what you wanted out of it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, I think you were like really opened to allowing this person to um, get close to you. Yeah. I feel like you were sexually attracted to them. How you sprawled out there like hey come at me man pinch that nipple <laughs> oh i saw lube for a second you may want this person to lather up your boobs to be like a nice boob massage all right Yeah, the star. So they're seeing you as the star. They're seeing you as very sexy, very uh, alluring. Um, they're wanting to uh, like nibble on the nipple a little bit. Yeah, they're digging your nipples. Like, oof, heavy, heavy uh, nipple lover. And um, this person might like a little bit of uh, pain possibly okay. maybe some uh, of that hot wax being porn porn oh poured <laughs> all right they may like porn all right but uh, yeah they may like hot wax uh, poured over them yeah it's heating up <laughs> okay The devil. The devil card came out twice upside down today. All right. So that tells me that this it's either a Capricorn, like I said earlier, that you're dealing with. or, But I'm getting it more. Um, this person is not trying to come at you and in a toxic way anymore. They don't want the toxicity of the connection anymore. They want that sweet loving that you have here and they're knowing that they can't get the sweet loving being this way right being in that devilish bondage you know uh, demanding or closed off uh codependent um narcissistic uh, <laughs> uh what else is uh, toxic uh, maybe addiction you know, maybe they had addiction and they're knowing that they can't come back towards you in that bullshit. You know? So nine of cups. Oof. Wanting to come in and take you out. Treat you to some sweet treats. They may want to take you, um, like I said last time, this is coming out almost the same, a little similar. They're wanting to take you somewhere that you'd need a bikini. Maybe maybe a spa, maybe like a little day trip. All right. That's a little soon for that. But I guess if you were friends, um, 
ahead of time and they offered to take you somewhere like that, you probably would go, right? And the cops. So having emotions, they're definitely seeing emotions and speaking emotions with you. I see like this guy is trying to, um, the card, you know, take it however it resonates. Trying to um, grab a hold of you again. He's wanting to grab you and and gently grab you. Not not you know, not crazy, but being very soft with you, but grabbing at you again. So in the past, this person, this person closed up to you. You probably had some kind of uh, interaction, uh, intimate interaction with this person, and then they closed up to you. They got in their head and started overanalyzing and then turned their back on you. So snuck away from the connection because they couldn't face... Um, they probably couldn't face the intensity of the connection with you here. Ooh, well, aren't you looking like a hot piece of ass? Wow. You guys are looking amazing. Like a fucking goddess here. Like heavenly. Like, bitch, please. Like, if you ain't coming straight, I ain't coming. <laughs> like, you know, you are not taking nothing less than what you deserve. Well, so knowing your worth, knowing that you deserve to be pleasured the way that you wanted to be, want to be pleasured, right? Ooh, that's a hot card. You guys are looking good. Very much in your power here. That's an Empress card. Yeah. All right. So maybe this person was dealing with someone else. Oh, and maybe that's why there was heartbreak. The third party always sneaks up in here, huh? So this may be some of you. Not all. Um, but... See what I'm saying? There may be someone else. This king here, the king of swords, is wanting to, um, you know, have his fun and play with you. And there's someone else looking out in the distance. And possibly his queen. She looks like she has a, cr a crown on. So this person may be married. Oh. Okay. Hmm. They're ready though. They're ready for you though. So I don't know how that works, but they're ready to for you to come in. Or for them to come towards you and not... I don't know if this person really cares about that person behind the glass, about their queen. You know, it could be male, female. could be a king. could be their husband. could be their wife. They're not really caring if they find out that they're fucking around with you. So that connection might be, uh, might be lost between these two. This is kind of chalices. So, yeah, I feel like this person has addictions or toxic tendencies, toxic traits, patterns, mindset. Here, the Knight of Knight of uh, Cups. See how he has all the, those things on the table. 
and he's frustrated. He's crinkling up the paper. He may be drawing or painting or doing, um, oh, okay. All right, so, all right, so you may have, okay, so this person, all right, it's getting juicy. So this person has a queen at home, and then there's you. You probably have someone else also that this person is getting super frustrated over you going back to this person in the background. So you may be married, and they may be married or uh, both of you are in long-term relationships. But this person's not liking the fact that you're going home to someone else after you are seen pleasuring them here. So, wow. All right, so this person is coming up a little jelly, a little possessive over you, over your energy. They're not wanting to share you at this point. Okay, but their frustration, they may be addicted to you. Well, I'm looking at it this way. Or maybe they, they were addicted to you. But the devil card is coming up reverse, so no longer uh, coming in that way. We're trying not to come in that way. Trying not to be jealous of the uh, connection that you have with someone else. Oh, wow. All right, getting juicy. I find out more. Yeah, I feel like they think that you're their one, though. You make them happy. Yeah, they're very much in their emotions right now. Mm hmm. Yeah, three of pentacles. They want to scoop your ass up, pick you up off the ground, and hug and kiss on you like you never. <laughs> Like you never left, right? Embracing you, holding on to you. And I feel like you're wanting to reach out and work with this person too. You're wanting to come together with them. Wow. Feels good. Minus the third party, four party here going on. Hmm. All right, this card came out too. So there was a tower moment. We know that it had to be a tower moment because the three of swords came out. Um, and, you know, all this third party energy. So, yeah, the tower came down. Maybe you. Hmm. Yeah. I think this person fell into you. I don't think they meant to fall into you. But they did. <laughs> and again, I feel like there's somebody else like, what the fuck you doing? In this connection here. Somebody's watching from the outside, watching your person want you. Or you want this person. Or both. Somebody's aware that there's... um. There's something going on in the shadows with you guys. So five of cups. I, I, you know, they don't feel like they have much to offer you. All right. They're, they're needing to offer you more. So not feeling that they may be good enough to uh, come in. Or good enough to marry you. Or good enough to have long term with you. Here, since he's down on his knee, that makes me feel like this person wants to, um, you know, have a commitment and go further. That was really weird. Hmm. My feather over here just uh, waved at me. <laughs> it was just like this whole thing just like lifted really weird. I got my eye. It's 
So you may catch this person's eye a lot. As I... Hmm. Well, this person's watching you. Um, secretly. So let's see about this third party going on. All right. Yeah, lots of passion. Fearful though, this person's fearful. They fear looking in your eyes. Yeah, fearing looking in your eyes. Fearing, you know, telling you what's really on their mind. telling you that they're passionate for you but they just don't know how to how to go forth in this connection due to their third party in the background they're kind of stuck stuck between the two fearful you know of their third party fearful of your third party but feeling a bond with you that they They've never felt before. That's what that card feels like to me. And you're embracing this person. You are. You got feelings for them. You want them. You want to make them feel better and feel secure. The Hierophant. I feel like this person wants commitment with you, but they're just torn between two people. They're like so frustrated. They're like, shit, I want this person, but how am I going to come towards them when I have the two? Like, I have two. How do I go towards this person when I have these two without it being toxic? They're trying to figure out how to make how to make this shit work. And that frustrates them. They may may have been very comfortable where they were in the past, but no more. They're not comfortable. They're not content anymore in in their other relationship. And they're not content with how things are going with you. But wanting, you know, wanting long term, wanting, you know, change, wanting to go to the next level with you. I don't get that they're in love with this other person, but they do care for them. They do care for them, but I think their um, their passions have turned towards you. You know, they're wanting to work with you. They have two paths, but they're wanting to sit down and communicate with you what, what you think about the situation. How to um, claim the bull by its horns. You know, finding the strength to come forward and really sit down with you and communicate with you. Wanting you to understand understand them, understand where where they're coming from. And not, um, maybe you judged this person in the past, of how they approached you. So they're a little fearful of uh, how you're going to take them. They're wanting you to take them seriously and wanting to see that um, they are genuine about this connection. Okay. Sorry, I just got to rope my boobs up here. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. It's nice. What's the outcome? What's the outcome between these two? Let's see the outcome. More sign. Let's see. So the outcome. So. One second. Oh. The outcome is I feel that you guys are going to be coming back together, but there's going to be some swords involved with it, in it. There's going to be some uh, 
some deep thoughts. Um, deep thoughts in it. It's going to be change coming in. They want you. They want to scoop you up. This person wants you. They want to caress you. They want to kiss on you. This I keep getting drawn back to this Nine of Cups because this guy is just looking in, in her eyes and just like, just take me as I am. Ta you take me as I am. Maybe you take this person as they are. Like you see past all of their um, imperfections here. And you just love them for them. What you see in them. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, the wheel of fortune. So the wheel's going to be turning in your favor. Change is going to be coming in. Happiness is coming in. You're going to be feeling good within your body, within your mind. You may be hanging out. You know, maybe uh, meeting up with some some new friends here. So, who do I see in here? Yeah. So the Knight of Cups. The Knight's coming in for you. With the emotions. Because they're watching you from a distance and they're admiring you. They're wanting to come in. They're wanting to come in and share those emotions because they see you as beautiful. And they may see that you, you are struggling uh, with some parts of yourself also here. So wanting to come in and uh, embrace you for who you are also and not who um, maybe society expects you to be. They may see you as very pure too, like a pure heart, innocence. So I see, let's see what signs. Let's see. Hmm. Sorry. I'm reading something here. Um, so guidance. I keep getting guidance. Someone's needing to get guidance going forward. So this is all connecting to my TikToks that I just posted. So who do I see here? I see the uh, Gemini, right? The tower, Gemini. I see Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Aries, Sag, Libra. Pisces, Pisces, Capricorn, Aries again, uh, Taurus. Those are the signs that I see out of out of that deck. All right, so that's the end of sexy time. Let's go over to, hmm. let's see, let's do animal spirit, let's see how you and your person are coming up. I hope it's making sense to you guys, I know I'm a little I'm slow, <laughs> I'm slow tonight. Someone's a busy bee, someone's taking on a, a little too much right here with the bee card. Taking on too much, buzzing around, maybe asking around about you. All right. Okay. Yeah, all right. Gazelle. <laughs> I saw that before I put it back in the C. 
so gazelle. So you may have a really nice um, sleek body or long legs or, you know, you're coming up very um, beautiful. You have passion behind you moving forward. This person is very busy. They're, uh, you know, they may be talking about you or asking about you. Um, you know, coming forward, flying forward. Ooh, the oyster. So I definitely feel the attraction between you two with the oyster card, like eating oysters and having that aphrodisiac. Uh, I feel like you're this person's aphrodisiac. They, they really, oof, when they see you, they just uh, you know, either uh, melt or get as hard as that oyster or as wet as that oyster, however you want to take it. There are, there are slow. The turtle. All right, turtle's coming out, slowly approaching you. Slow. This person's slow to the party. And you're, on the other hand, like, come on, bitch. Attack. You know, you're wanting this person to strike. Or you may want... I feel like you want this person to strike, not that you're striking for them. You're wanting them to step up to the plate and... Um, come for your ass. There. Okay. Yeah, baby. A little bit of a sneaky tendency. A little sly. All right. They, they're they quiet before they uh, approach their prey. Mm, so, that pretty much tells me that you're going to be caught off guard by this person approaching you because they're... They're slithering along towards you, slowly. They are slow, but they're trying to get a get a hold of you, get a grip on you. I don't think this person definitely doesn't like to see you around other uh, men or women. Very jelly, very jelly. <laughs> so you're coming up as the beautiful beast, the tiger. Right. So able to move uh, quickly and pounce when you're needing to pounce. And uh, also sit and relax and be the beautiful you here. This person likes your beaver, however you want to take that. They want to stroke it or stroke their beaver to you. Or stroke, oh, I don't know, rub your beaver out. <laughs> Not too much nasty tonight, but a little bit. I feel the passion. I feel the passion between you guys. Yeah, they're eagles. Yeah. yeah. They're hawking over you. They, they got their eyes on you, and they're coming in. They want to come in and scoop you up because they're passionate for you. And you're just here, you know, hibernating, just doing you and being comfortable and just being lazy and maybe not lazy, but just being laid back, trying to just, you know, take the winter time and embrace it, make the best of it. All right, I like that. That's true. Yeah, you're both being torn in different directions, though. So that's the center of this connection. Uh, why you're having a hard time coming together because uh, you're being pulled possibly by other people or your responsibilities and unable to come together. There's like just weird shit happening in my room right now. So. Yeah. This person is definitely, um, has their eye on you, slowly approaching, you know, slowly approaching, because I just, something just like dropped over here, I don't know if you heard it, but it slid, but I, I don't even see what it is, but, yeah.
Maybe spill the beans again. Yeah, I think the yeah, this person's gonna spill the beans to you about what they want from the connection here. So yeah, I stand by this person. Um, you're not a you're not knowing that this person has um, as many feelings towards you as uh, you think they do, but they do. They do. Well, Alright, let's see. So, ooh, yeah, offer coming in, and you're just sitting and you're waiting. I feel like this is you. I don't know if you're sitting and you're waiting just for this person, but you're waiting for someone um, to come in and give you an offer. Someone that is not going to bore you. <laughs> she looks very bored. Uh, yeah, you're looking for someone to spark your interest. Bring out that rainbow within you, that happiness within you. Right? Matching your energy, which I feel like your energy is really down uh, at this point. So you're needing to elevate yourself and focus on uh, how to make yourself happy, filling your own cups up. And not so much waiting on others to fill you up. So you're a little down about not being in a connection. I get it. But I don't think it's going to be for much longer. Someone's coming in. Yeah, judgment. Alright, judgment came out. Needing to make a judgment call on this person. Yeah, rebirth. Again, that card came out. Death card came back. Uh, reversed. So making a judgment call possibly in the past to put an ending to this connection. But now making a judgment call to bring it back around. Looping it around. Um, the rebirth of the connection. Like the newness of it. Now that you've um, elevated yourself a bit from it. Page of Cups again. Comes out. So this person feels like they're just hanging by a thread. They're hanging by a thread. Where a thread is holding this person back from coming towards you. Wanting to come in with the emotions, but then not being able to stand their ground and approach you. They see the Ten of Pentacles with you. They see growth. They see potential. They see um, possibly having a family with you. Happiness. Wealth. They're not wanting you to be pulled away in a different direction with someone else. And that's why I feel like they're going to be coming in with that offer for you. So someone else doesn't, you know, scoop your butt up. Well, running in. Wow. King of Swords are running towards you. Running in before you make a final judgment call to possibly put an end to the connection. So wanting to run in before you make a judgment call and have a rebirth, reconciliation in the connection. Because they're seeing you as your queen of pentacles. You're in your power. You're just sitting there. You're relaxed. You're abundant. You know that all good things are going to be coming to you. You're not, you no worries because you've done the work. You've done the work on yourself. You, you probably gave to this connection and now it's their turn, right? Five of cups reversed. So this person is thinking about old times with you, how you emotionally came to them and you, you gave your emotions to them 
and they were unable to fulfill your emotions right back. Yeah, they're fearful now. Nine of Swords. They're fearful about how this connection, they, they fucked up the connection. A Ten of Pentacles connection could have turned into... Um, yeah, they turned it into doom and gloom. A really good connection that could have um, been really good for them. They know they shitted on the connection. They sabotaged it. And now they're regretful that they, they didn't uh, come forward. They didn't speak their truth. Seeing that you are um, trying to... Um, comfort yourself, trying to protect yourself, trying to um, stay in your peace, in your comfort zone, trying to, you know, you're trying to be content here. Wow. So a person is rushing in with lots of lots of passion. They may have a lot of ideas for you guys to do things with one another. Like they may have a lot of things planned out that they want to show you or teach you or um, involve you in. So this person may be a very creative person I'm getting here. Uh, a person that has a lot of uh, ideas very creative, very intelligent with all the, uh, the swords, very, um, logical person. The hangman in reverse, see, see, no more stagnancy between you guys. You're not wanting the stagnancy and they're not wanting the stagnancy that, you know, you both wanting this connection just to flow freely and not, uh, feel there's no, uh, movement in it yeah you've pulled yourself out of this um turbulent water you know your emotions or turbulent connection emotional connection with this person you've pulled yourself up from it they're seeing that they're you know they're worried about as i said before they're worried about uh, not feeding the connection we're not um, telling you their emotions. They're ver they're upside down. I don't. Know. I feel like this person is wishing that they didn't have a third party because they're wanting happiness with you. So I feel like this person is going to make a decision to cut off their third party in order to get their happiness and wealth and prosperity with you here. They feel bad, they feel bad about it. They're wanting it to work. But I think they know intuitively, you know, the high priestess, intuitively they're being drawn to you away from their other half, their third party, the other person. So give them time to mourn that other connection before they're approaching you, but they're being drawn their intuition's being drawn back to you. They're just wanting peace. They're wanting happiness. They're wanting peace to come in. They're wanting calmness. They're wanting happiness. Wow, this is going long. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not even keeping track. I'm tired. So, Knight of Cups. In the past, this was the problem. This is why it was stagnant, because the person couldn't um, come in with their emotions. 
here for you. So that's why it was stagnant. And let's see what else. Anything else? No. The three of Wands coming in passionately, wanting wanting to have fun times, wanting to grow, wanting to grow with you. They're wanting to come out of hermit mode. They're done doing self-reflection. They're done meditating on it. They're done waiting on it. They're done sitting. They're wanting to come in now. Now they know what path they need to lead. And that path is towards you here. So that's nice. All right, self-care, and then I'll get you out of here. Okay, what can the uh, viewer do? to uh, make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm trying to build this uh, channel up. If you'd like a personal read, um, there will be a link in the description box to go over to Venmo, Jesse Ray 21. The personal reads are 50, sexy time is 65, and multi-card like this complete read is, is uh, 85. So make sure that you're nourishing your temple uh, correctly make sure that you're eating plenty of um, veggies and fruits and make sure that you're drinking enough water to higher your frequency again this card came out so you may need to get routine blood work or possibly uh, talk to a therapist or counselor about uh, what's going on in your mind just to free up your energy a little bit just to get someone's opinion that's not within your circle may be very helpful to you or even, that could be even me. I could help you, you know. And um, clear your energy. Do some uh, energy work. Get some sage. This all came out in the previous uh, TikTok. So go over to my TikTok and see some of the snippets over there. Some may resonate with you. But needing to clean out your energy, you could use some sage. You could do, um, you know, sage clearing. And also around your house if you haven't cleaned or dusted lately or uh, you know put away your laundry even go and do that you'll feel a lot better walking back into the room and uh, feeling a little bit open and, and freer so I appreciate you guys uh, joining me I will be going live soon on uh, TikTok and uh, I appreciate all the bookings the support donations gifts for my birthday and for Christmas. I appreciate all of you guys. I hope you have a very happy new year and I will see you again soon. Bye.